Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and, uh, can, can you, how, how well can you see past there? Uh, somewhere back there, I, th I think you saw some creepers, uh, dying in a fire, as they should. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? I thought I heard a medic on the other side. Or was that an Arcadius? Uh, Nope, that was me. Are you uh, feeling any better? Not really. No? Oof. That stinks. Uh, we are live. We're uh, trying to figure out two things. The first being where to... Where to put a small phantom farm, and to figure out a couple things with storage over at the uh, gunpowder sugarcane farm. But first, in a couple seconds, we're gonna sleep. In game, not, not out of game. I, I have the coffee to make sure I don't sleep while I'm playing the game. Well, I've got an idea for the uh, phantom farm. Yeah, we're at the little the little place i made at the very beginning for oh yeah our, where, where uh, you're farming ender pearls yep i'm standing on it right now yeah i thought about i thought about that i thought about on top of the afk spot where the uh come on oh i thought about there i thought about on top of the afk spot i actually thought about uh, replacing the AFK spot with a phantom farm, you know, why, why not get all the things? But I'm not sure that that's something that everybody wants either. Oh, joy. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Just if you're going to do that, make sure you uh, build the bottom up so whenever I get this building going all the way up to the top, it'll look right. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Um, there, there actually isn't a bottom to it. Because uh, there's no there's no collection system per se, at least in the design that I was looking at. It is fairly small, uh, although the 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 top part of the design is a little special. Um, so that, that's why I was kind of thinking somewhere that's not in the way. Like, I mean, technically, we, we could fit it, like, right here on top of this building, but it just wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look right. Right. So I was thinking about either on top of the AFK spot or out in the back somewhere. But I also don't want it too inaccessible. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I want you to do it on the top of the portal area. Yeah, that's an You've option, too. Got We've already got the cobwebs up there. Uh, we actually don't need cobwebs for this design. It uses uh, moving water, glass blocks, and iron bars. Which reminds me, I should probably go make sure that I get all the materials before starting. I, I hear that's slightly important. To not just assume that you have everything you need. <laughs> hey, Arcadius. I heard that chuckle. You heard nothing good, sir. Oh, I heard everything. <laughs> how you guys doing this evening? Other than Medic, I know how he's doing. Yeah, I, I can hear that. Sounds uh, awfully similar to the end of uh, <laughs> his stream last night. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't laugh too much. I, I, I've been there. I know how that goes. When you get to the end of a four hour plus stream and you're going, oh, my throat. All right. Um, I need 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 fence gates. Move those over because. Everything must be in its place. I need 40 glass. What color glass do I want to make this out of? Well, I guess if I put it on top of the AFK spot or convert... All right, I, I guess that is the question. 
I, I think I'll put it on top of the, either on top of the AFK spot or in place of the AFK spot. Which, uh... I mean, I guess all I gotta do is make one small change. And, and that would allow this to continue working the way it does. Although, never mind. This is, uh... That's pretty... Alright, maybe, maybe I will put it on top. Yeah, I'll put it on top. What color glass is this? This is... Lime. So let me go get some more lime stained glass. I need... Oh. Uh, gonna need to hope that we have... Oh, okay, there we go. But I was gonna need to hope that we actually have some... <laughs> some glass to die. Alright, that's more than I need, but it's not like we don't need the extra laying around just in case. Alright, because you only need 40 glass, 36 fence gates, I need 9 iron bars. Oh man, I hope we have enough iron for this. I don't know if we did. <laughs> I raised. I Hello. need a trapdoor. Ooh, one box. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take some ladders, because I might be able to work this into the design for the AFK spot. Which means I don't need the door. I need some ice. Or unless I mess something up. And I need some temporary blocks. There we go. Alright. Gamma. Fly. Medic. Did you check well, out your box? I'm sorry. Uh, I checked it when I first logged in. Got your heads. Little baby blocks. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, they were, I think I got them last time. Thank so you. So what's everyone working on today? I am working on a phantom farm. Well, good or news. I just logged in. <laughs> Uh, well, that's not going to help unless you're up here on said farm. Alright, so you know what? Maybe I won't make it accessible from inside. Alright, let me get my lime stained glass. We're going to need... Why are there two random shulkers in storage? Um, I don't know. And I, I, I've suddenly stopped asking questions about stuff like that. I finished part of my project and realized that I have hey, beach duck. From hey, beach duck. <laughs> and realized that I had extra boxes from somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Beach Duck. Hello, Beach Duck. I figure we're all saying it. What's up with the rabbit stew? It's very tasty. I cook stew for everyone for uh, New Year's. Oh. You just haven't gotten your box till now. Ah. And those are firework rockets, not flying rockets. Uh, well, I mean, Again, or you, New York. You, you for, for can. 
don't don't listen to him. You, you can if you really really wanted to. Don't listen to him. I never said it would be recommended. I'm just don't saying <laughs> you can if you really wanted to. I have seen that video. I'm good. Oh, <laughs> of Tango. Fl- <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. All right. Fence gates. I'm adding a phantom farm. You see, when you don't sleep long enough, like rest, um, there are these creatures that come out at night and swoop in and absolutely wreck you. Go stabby stabby. So I am building a farm to uh, collect them because the, the phantom membranes are very useful in potion making. Soon I will also be lacking in sleep like rest. Oh, if I don't keep falling off the building. I'm kind of... Hey, Medic, what are we doing with your giant water cooler? I'm working on making the concrete for it now. Um, ah. And here is one of the other questions. I, I know we had talked about putting uh, some carrot potato, wheat, and beetroot farms inside the empty spaces along the sides. Were we still planning on... But... Were we still putting on plan... Uh, were we still putting on planning? Were we still planning on putting the uh, storage for that... Uh, in the same sharing the storage with uh, everything else well I was going to say yes but our sugar cane and gunpowder is running so well that it's filling stuff up pretty quick that's why I was so, asking that's why I was asking because uh, uh, there is good there is room in between each corner that we can make uh, individual storage units uh, for each farm. That way we don't have to have it automatically sorting. Wait, what? Uh, like, for instance, you said one corner you might do carrots. And if you do carrots all the way up, mm-hmm. then on both sides of that corner where the middle is because you won't be using the middle in both sides of that area we can do storage that all the carrots from all the farms just go directly to that one area so it doesn't have to be actually separated out because it's all going to be carrots and then the potato farm had the same thing Uh, okay I see what you're saying now um Maybe? Yeah, the bottom floor could be the storage. Yeah, yeah. The, the the... Mm-hmm. And I can also take it all the way down to bedrock if we needed to. Okay. Um But that way we're not having to do the the automatic sorting on each thing. Yeah, we just have one sec. If you want carrots, then you go to the carrot section and so forth. Uh, hmm. are are you talking about having so there would be four doors in the corners for each section, or yeah, because that's what I originally okay. planned, anyways. Yeah, they're already there. When you go in the go in next time, go into the bottom of storage, and you'll see them. See, wait, sorry, I'm I'm trying to do too much at once. That's fair. Let me know next time you're ready to go to the bottom and we'll go look together. Where's a wondering dude? He's wondering. Oh, dude. Uh, well, he saw what happens to the last bit of wandering traders that ended up 
our way. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Nope. Um, there's a bunch of smelted, like, smooth stone and nether brick and that kind of stuff. Is that supposed to go in, like, for real storage? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, bottom of the building right below me there. Um, because he's building a round facade around a square building. I was going to put some mm -hmm. farms in the corners there. And it was just a question of how we were going to manage that. Because <coughs> uh, I wouldn't mind taking overflow from the sugarcane farm. And feeding it into a... Uh, a uh, composter. Sorry, brain brain's moving. I, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying I've to move in fifth, and my brain is in third. All night. Yeah, I've been having cranial flagellants all night. Yeah. And it wasn't it wasn't that particularly tough a day. I mean, I I had a couple of instruments today that made me wonder what some of these people did to them, but you know, it was nothing too too bad. <laughs> Nothing like yesterday. Dare I ask what happened yesterday? Uh, just a, a really, really sad, unloved instrument. At least made its way back to the shop. Uh, where did that other one go? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's probably better for the instrument that it made its way back. I had to I had to fix a lot I, well there is no fixing I, I had to uh, shellac <laughs> over a lot of pits and scars to seal the wood uh, paint it over as best I can <laughs> uh, carefully try to shave and carve off the the spots where it had clearly been slammed into something and, and there there were soon to be big divots if I couldn't save them slammed yeah yeah some somebody whacked the <coughs> scroll into something WWE style uh oh yeah we 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 returned to the aforementioned statement of it was sad it was very sad. And unfortunately, after after a day uh, of relatively easy instruments, that was what I grabbed for my last one of the day. Oh. You know? So there was that part of it, painful. too, where it's like, all right, it's the end of the day. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Three by three building. Open fence gates. A ring. All right, and a glass border that's going to go on top of the water. Netherite stuff is too strong. Uh, that's not usually the complaint I hear. No, for like digging, like it, it's not an artful weapon. <laughs> it's not a more civilized weapon for a more civilized time. No, it is definitely not. More civilized age. more civilized age okay um okay that's it that should be it oops wrong side 
Um, yeah. So you should be able to stand on this trap door. Now, here's the part that they didn't cover in the the. Uh, I put a here back up. Try this one more time. So I saw the farm design over at Shulkercraft. There is the YouTube link. There will be a link in the description of the video when I publish this later on YouTube as well. Which, if you haven't already, you should totally subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just saying. Uh, in their video, they mentioned sitting AFK. They also mentioned using a looting sword. So I don't know if you are meant to sit AFK with a clicker, sit AFK, period, or, it, it, you know, I, I wasn't quite sure about that part, other than the, this is the place to kill them, and, uh, and you don't have to worry about them killing you. You just stand on top of that trap door and, and have at it. When I next go, since I've got looting three, I'll probably go ahead and just be here. Like, the next time I need something very simple to do, <laughs> I'll, I'll AFK here. And I might try an AFK session uh, without that, too. Although, I wonder if this is too tall for the uh, Reaper farm down below. I probably should have thought of that earlier. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. If I have to get a giant piston machine to move everything down a couple of blocks, I'll over-engineer a solution to that when I get there. Yay! I finished a farm and no shulker monster. Oh, Lord. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, did, did you did you see that uh, picture that Scar posted on Twitter of his new shulker monster? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Uh... Y'all pick on me? Mm-mm. Why, did it look familiar? No, it does not look familiar. <laughs> it, it is edge to edge in the screenshot. Shulker boxes. Like, you take that horrible one that he keeps outside of Scar X and then keep adding more. I actually thought about doing the entire outer section of my mountain base in the shulker boxes at one point. <laughs> what, just to... It's an interesting storage concept if you just build your building out of shulker boxes. Oh. <laughs> no, that, that's how I have flying not, access not because they don't render quite as... Uh, they don't render as fast as the terrain. Or as far not as it. the I terrain. I feel like you are more worried about the functionality of the server mm -hmm. than the pretty. I am. And I'll understand you. I am. Uh, that is one of the... Oh, I, I did also start uh, working on a hole. And clearing out a little more space for the redstone. Reyes got a good start on the path under the lamps. I just need the space in between as well uh, to work. I was actually tempted to pave this out and... Uh, maybe increase the functionality as we go on, kind of like how Disney's got that underground uh, tunnel network to get from place to place and do maintenance and whatnot. Set up a little, a little underground pathway, you know, like, like our Disney. I do have the daylight sensor there, and it is working. So I'm going to get a, uh, a redstone block here and a redstone block here, and the daylight sensor will just trigger that so it moves them out of the way and back. And this will be the central point from which the uh, redstone signal to light, to light this place up will emanate. And... Oh, that's right. Storage is running. Never mind. I'll just walk. Now you see why I'm slightly concerned about the server. Why? <laughs> I, I think I will go with uh, this design that Medic and I were talking about uh, on one of his streams where he was... Uh, we got on the CoffeeCraft server for just a little bit. And so instead of a redstone torch, the piston is going to push the uh, 
a redstone block to turn the lights off and then when the daylight sensor trips it'll retract the redstone block and we'll get lights and everyone will light up it'll all emanate out from the storage system i just i am still slightly worried about lag um because lighting updates are kind of rough and i don't think uh, i don't think there's anything we're going to do about lighting updates and let unless we leave them lit all the time uh which if it becomes a problem that's and that's just what we'll do. And I think by using repeaters, that should, uh, instead of redstone dust, that should help too. Um, because the code for redstone dust takes a little while as it cycles through. Basically, the, the redstone dust will get power, and it's got to check each power level and check every block it could possibly power, and then see if there is a block that could be powered whether or not it's powered and yeah uh, long story short unless you're running a lot of redstone dust in a straight line it's not uh, find alternatives when you can if you care about your server at all or your server admin or your server performance look at that I care about or the person who runs the server yeah that too but, uh, because they get cranky. So we're going to need, <laughs> so think of all those lines you want lit. We're going to need, um, two repeaters, a note block. Well, actually, I don't know if we need a note block per se, or if a regular wool block will work. Let me, uh, let me, let me check that out real quick. Do I have, do I have a wool block? No, I don't have a wool block, but I've got an ender chest. In which I have, uh, there we go, wool in all the colors, spelled correctly too. You're welcome. Okay, so yeah, we could use we could use wool instead of the. Uh, of the note blocks that, that'll help a little bit too so yeah we're, we're just going to need a torch and two repeaters per every three lights we want lit how do you make a repeater uh two torches and some smooth stone and i think redstone dust i'm not 100 percent certain of that right off the cuff but we're going to need a lot. Good thing we got a building full of clerics who are willing to trade for redstone. Oh, where did all this blue carpet come from? I don't know. I was wondering about that myself. Uh, Weird. Uh, project we cleanup lots from of the old painting. Um, <laughs> I, I am actually wondering if for the furnace array, in addition to having some kind of automated power source, our fuel source for the furnace, we have a uh, an input for all the burnable stuff that we don't we, we don't need anymore. So that way, instead of flooding storage with a bunch of carpets, we just toss them in the furnace and use them for fuel. Did you intend to throw your baby lapis in there? Yeah, I'm done. With your baby lapis block? Yeah. The ones that you like made a big deal of getting those. Yeah, I needed them from the trader. Huh? I needed them. Yeah. The mini lapis lock. Yeah, I, I used like sixteen of them out here. And you have eight more. Yeah. Oh, the lapis ore. Yeah. No. Give it to Medic, he's been the keeper of the mini blocks. I shudder to think how much we'd have to expand storage if you wanted to keep them all in community. Yeah. No, 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 it was more so like he was like, I, like, we need this, I need this in my life, and then is all of a sudden just like, eh, it's fine. Because uh, he got all that he needed. Anyway. I got what I needed. What am I making? Repeaters, <laughs> comparators, what? 
Uh, repeaters and torches. Hey, Beast Lord, thank you for the raid. You Ooh. are the man. Beast thank Lord, you, Beast what's going Lord. on? How's it going? How you doing, One Wing? Hey. One Wing. All right, Rest. You said. All right. You said that somewhere around here. We were gonna put. Doors. Oh, hold on. Let me put my crafting yeast stuff down. Okay. I gotta put my crafty things down. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I, I got a lot of coffee with a little whiskey, you know, for flavor, and um, actually got something accomplished right at the top of the stream. So anything else to get finished is uh, a bonus. Hmm. Thank you for the follow. We are rocking it this evening. We are yep. trying to find a balance, one wing, between uh, pretty, yeah. which is my thing, yeah. and function, which is, my which thing. is uh, the guy who is streaming right now's thing. Uh, <laughs> and usually, uh, Medic and Arcadius hop in between us to make that happen. <laughs> yeah, we're the gophers. Oh. Well, it, it, but it, it right just, now they have left. Uh, like, like, like medic, medic built this amazing sugarcane farm. And, and before I head down the stairs, let's uh, take a moment to look at this times four wings of sugarcane. A big enclosed sugarcane farm. I know Beach Duck. Whisk coffee is totally thing. Actually, Wh right now, whisk. Anon is having slain coffee, if you want to know specifically. Yeah. Because it looked interesting, and I hadn't tried that particular whiskey yet. Uh, yes, One Wing. Anything that isn't r natural terrain is something that the four of us concocted, or you'll find outside yeah. of buildings. If we found a particular streamer or somebody who built something that we liked and we wanted to try it, yeah. we put a placard on the building that cites who the person is that did it. Yeah, especially if we're building directly from a tutorial that we've built. Now, uh, keep in mind, we started, we started this server January 1, 2020. So we've been running for one full year now, and we've got a couple things built. Like, I just put together that phantom farm that uh, Shulkercraft did. And since it's pretty much block for block what they did, you know, different colored glass, but still, it's block for block what they did. Uh, I'm going to make sure that there is a sign with credit, you know. Whereas that iron farm, it's like a bunch of people have done that or similar iron farm so there's no one person to credit for it because it's just kind of become one of those things that everybody's everybody's got their own slate spin on so uh i need to find a bed too yeah but. that volcano in the background <laughs> was something that i had built from scratch for uh yeah let, let me uh for let me... arcadius Actually, let me go. Let me go take a look at that in the dark too. That might even be more worth it. Although, <laughs> one of the things that we have not worked on is lighting. We are going to get all these lamps set on a daylight sensor so they light up at night. Uh, that's the volcano that uh, Medic was talking about that he built for Arcadius. Arcadius did up the interior. And uh, whoop. I helped him fill it all up with water. Yes, he did. Thank you. I still need to <laughs> uh, go through and actually yeah. finish designing that place out at the bottom. Yeah, right now he's just got a big Dude, round room. If, if well, either if of you have ever enjoyed Legos, door. come play this game. Yes. For serious. Indeed. Because it's the best part of playing with Legos, and you never have to worry about cleaning them up or stepping on them. Uh, somebody should sleep. It's not safe to go out at night. Here, <sighs> take this. There, happy. Sleeping happened. 
Hey, mark One that on your calendar. Rhea slept. That is uh, her <laughs> in-game sleep for the month. And uh, anything else is... Uh... Anything else is bonus. And anything you guys better say thank you. <laughs> I'd be interested to know how many times she's actually slept in the entire history of the server. Um... I kind of wish it kept track of that. I almost want to set up a custom scoreboard uh, next on. season for that. Gabe, statistics. I think that's in here. It wouldn't surprise me if it is. Uh, uh, actually, one wing, there's an Enderman standing right next to me. I can hear him. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen too many around. Oh, okay. okay. I would like all three of you and anybody in the chat who would like to play this game to guess how many times I, who for the record am notorious for not, not sleeping. sleeping IRL and in game, um, how many times I have slept in a bed since we started the server January 1, 2020. Fifty. And keep in mind we play no, I think it's single once digits. a week. I, I do believe it is single digits. No, we play. No, we play, we play at a minimum once a week. Uh, we, we've been know. known Fair. to, yep. you know, we've been known to hop on from time to time. <laughs> One wing is like uh, I'll eleven. Hedge my bet <laughs> <more> eleven. <laughs> uh, nah, I, I, oh, I think it's. Yours? I think it's still somewhere in single digits. What about you, medic? No, I said about fifty. All right. Is there another skeleton around here, or is that one of you shooting arrows? I'm going to say me? 25. Uh, you need to sleep, or bad guys come out. So the yeah. the negative mobs or bad mobs only come out in the dark. If it, uh, and Take that for what you will. It, it, it is in any block that has a light level lower than a certain amount. Um, so even in broad daylight, if you go into a cave... Yeah. So even though it's during the day, if you've got a shadowy spot with a light, like you've got a grove of trees and right there is a light level less than the threshold, something will spawn in there, jump out and eat your face. Or attempt to, at least. Uh. <laughs> so sleeping is how you, you know avoid those spawns. Yeah. Sleeping keeps at least, you know, the, the open area in your world free from stuff uh, spawning. And uh, I have slept, time slept in a bed, mm -hmm. 492. Thank you very much. That can't be right. That's what the statistics say. The game does not lie. I think Arcadius was playing on your account for a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering yeah. about that. <laughs> I'm wondering myself. <laughs> Are you sure there's not a decimal in there? Like... 49. There's not a decimal in there. Where, where you started to sleep and then. Uh, there is not a decimal that in how there. How many times you punched a bed? <laughs> yeah, that too. That too. Because, I mean, I could see that if it's counting all the times you're trying to get in the bed. Yeah. Exactly, one wing. Well, considering the fact that uh, for almost this year, I've had to miss every other week. Yeah. And I still have 1,153 <laughs> times slept in a bed. I can see that Fair. now. Okay, now, now you got me wondering too. <laughs> Statistics. Statistics. Uh, is yep. time slept in a bed or? Yes. Yeah, time, time slept, slept in a bed. bed. Time slept in a bed. 1,954. Which I find odd because it... Medic, did I... Am I remembering right? Yours was actually higher than that? No, no, no. Oh, Yours oh, okay. is higher than okay. mine and Ray is put together. Oh, okay, that that <laughs> seems that seems about right because I, I am mildly obsessive about making sure that sleepy time happens. Speaking of which, how many was yours? 1,100. Oh. Uh, even? 1,153. Ah. Okay. I have 1,143. <laughs> Dang. Good on you. And on, was I, it I, comparator I, or repeater that you needed? It is a repeater. <laughs> yes, One Wing, you were closer to yeah. 
Your, your well, your 11 to, was uh... closer than my guess. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh... Yeah, we're okay on wool. We got our little sheep farm that Medic and I built way early in the season. I want to say it was like February we had that thing up. Sheep in all the colors. Producing wool in all the colors. But this is another example of what Reyes was talking about where I built the technical part that automatically shears the sheep and uh, Medic made it pretty. Because that's, that's not my specialty. You end up with buildings that have no roof because I struggle with roofs. I, I usually build underground where you don't have to worry about roofs. You just have to worry about ceilings. Hey, how's it going, Blackjack? So you get nice, nice ceilings. <laughs> yeah, this, th this has probably been the biggest, biggest building I've tried to build so far. And it turned out pretty well. Little uh, Church of the Duck. And over in the confessionals, you got the uh, villager clerics for uh, trading. Not not confessions? Well, confessions too. Yeah, blackjack. That's medic. Yep, that is medic. <laughs> and the second floor is not finished. These windows are going to get bigger. And I'm going to build a roof at some point. I just got to figure out an arch that feels satisfying. Yes, Beach Duck did help provide some feedback on on the building. Uh, we were working on that floor on a and live stream. And the inspiration stream. for the um, for the duck. Yeah, because there was originally nothing there, but uh, Beach Duck has a thing about rubber ducks. So I made a giant rubber duck. <laughs> well, I think I need to be on the second floor to properly... Uh... Too many rockets. Uh, yeah, yeah, Beast, you can you can make your own anything in here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, why don't you come on over? Uh-oh. Where am I going? Mr. Camera Person. All right, where am I going? Out to my special project. Ah. That, that sounds like something that you shouldn't invite and put on stream without getting demonetized. Hey, yo, whoa, 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 you ain't talking like that. All right. Um, I'm just saying, you invited him over to your special project. If I'm over at the Guardian Farm, where do I go from there? The <laughs> exactly <north? laughs> one way. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know what they're doing over there, but I don't think it's, I want to. I'm, I'm just going to chill here. It's not a cult. Oh, there we go. Not a, not, not a cult. Go. I found it now. Uh, I'm running low on rockets. Aha! There we go. Dang! That is impressive. That is very impressive. That is beautiful. And if you are a fan yes, of Settlers is. of Catan, you know exactly what that is. <laughs> yes. Now, before you go down there and show them an oh. actual scope and size, because okay. up here it doesn't really seem like much. Yeah. But uh, look up here on the uh, pedestal where we'll be oh. playing now. Okay. Oh, oh, you get the numbers done. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yep. Hope you hope. That it. Yeah, I, I do try to run a more family-friendly channel than uh, Medic does, so I do filter all the naughty words. That's okay. I, I probably should have warned you ahead of time. That is nice. Yeah, my mine's the channel that, that the uh, coffee crap people can come to and uh, speak their mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's the espresso channel. It's the know. coffee craft after dark. Yeah. The, the dark, dark roast, roast edition. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is amazing. Well, that's your now I want to go play. The, the, this is the sense Almost. of scale. Um, so right. are you going to do lighting too, or are you just going to use the string to prevent spawns? I am going to string the entire thing. Oh, oh my. 
I don't want to risk a single block being missed. I don't want to do oh, no, 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 that no. funny finagling. I'm stringing the whole thing. Don't don't hear it. I'm not saying string <laughs> string string away. String it out. Um, Last thing I need is for someone to go put down a road, you know, <laughs> down there yeah. and get blown up by a creeper and take off half of my you know island. I'd be yeah. kind of agitated. Oh, that would be awful. <laughs> yeah, that that would be awful. <laughs> Uh, no, I, w I was thinking more um, just so that way you can see it from up there when it's nighttime, or are you hoping that somebody will sleep at night? There's a bed right up here. Okay. I'm going to change the color to the Catan red, but uh, there's a bed up here. Nice. Oh, and these guys are... We, we're playing vanilla in the sense that it is the uh, vanilla server from Moyang. And we're playing vanilla in the sense that I should not be standing on top of that while it's at night, since we were just talking about unfortunate things happening. <laughs> uh, I appreciate that. That we're only using functions that are built into the core game that Mojang produces. But we are uh, the core game allows for some enhancement opportunities via data packs and resource packs so we are running a custom list of a few data packs and resource packs things that allowed us to hit a balance between enhancing the game without drifting from the idiom of minecraft uh, over at coffeecraft.us that's the website that we have and it's got a list of all the data packs and resource packs that we're using on the server and as we do server updates and all that, I've had to shuffle some in and out and change which ones I use. So there's a running there's a running list of what is currently on right now and what we've used in the past. So that is always a uh, that is a resource available to like those uh, the the mini and what prompted that was uh, these guys here these little mini ore blocks are part of a data pack that we're running on the server. And they, they just add so much extra. And they're still keeping within the idiom of the game. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised to use the diamond ore right there. <laughs> there might be an IOU note for some diamond ore. <laughs> <clears throat> That's all right. I've got plenty <clears throat> of it I'll bring out here. But there, there are a number of large labors of love like that. That island right there is where we started. Uh, I had the first death of the season, sadly, because we spawned on the island at night and a spider ate my face. That was really Just shocking, because I feel like usually it's me that dies yeah, first you, and well, often. You know, I mean, weird things happen. <laughs> the, oh, oh no, 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 no. Um, nope, not going near there. The uh, skeletal horses are often traps. <laughs> so, unless you feel like fighting the four horsemen. Although I do want a skeleton horse. <laughs> How big are the spiders? Um, um, big is not the concern. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> where are some spiders? Oh, Over in the spider farm. The spider cave. Yeah. Yeah. Although the ones in the spider cave are a little bit smaller than the normal ones. I'm actually kind of surprised none of them spawned when we didn't sleep last night. I mean, we could go caving, but it'd be uh, the so first time we go... <laughs> you start out the game with nothing, yeah. basically. You start out the game naked and afraid. Naked and scared. Um, yeah. And as you basically find stuff craft stuff, make stuff, yada, yada, yada. You get the resources and okay. the things that you need to go for horses for you. Where? be able to do more. I said I was going to um, come and fight them and you ran oh, off. Oh, well, I didn't, I didn't hear that this part. case, Otherwise, we it wouldn't have run off. traveled to a place called The End that you can get to in the game. And in the end, you <laughs> can end, fight a giant flying dragon and yep. if you win, um, you can travel all around that place and get cool toys like the wings that are allowing us to fly. Yeah. Uh, so what happens is every now and again in the game, I, I, I wish I'd known. Otherwise, I wouldn't have run away. 
That's all good. <laughs> You'll find these little skeleton horses lying around here and there, and uh, they're traps. A lightning bolt will come down, and four of those guys with skeletons armed with bows and arrows will appear, and uh, they, they will shoot you vigorously and repeatedly. You want to watch and after violently. <laughs> Yeah, and violently. While I get uh, name tags, or do you want to go get the name tags? Oh. Um, I should have some name tags in... I got an Fancy anvil. you, Mr. Rich Pants. <laughs> and in this box. Yeah, very, very, like, end game. Like, by the time you have wings and stuff, you can do a lot. You fought oh, yeah. the dragon. You've done all the fun things. And from there, it's just crafting one. and... The other one's yours. Oh. <laughs> making all the cool toys that you want to play with or doing what our group does and coming up with different things to build or create or just kind of having fun with a digital version of Legos. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I know what I need to name mine. There's also a substance called <laughs> redstone, redstone dust, and basically think of it like computer wire. So you can set automated things or make it push buttons or do stuff for you, which oh, is yeah. kind of cool. Um, it, if you hear any of us go in and out of buildings and the different sounds and songs, that is literally single note blocks that Arcadia has strung together to, yeah. to make that melody. Yeah, that would require Nan actually keeping his volume up for those. Yeah, yeah. But chat, real quick, what is a good name for a skeleton horse? Only once. I, I chose Dr. Bones. Going twice. <laughs> Nope. Good name for a skeleton a horse? Good name for a skeleton horse. That is not a good name for a skeleton horse. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. I don't know. You, you could name him that. There we go. Oh, no. It's his name. Skeletor Mare? <laughs> or dot, dot, dot. Skelemare. Which one are you naming? One's yours. I, I was no. going to let you pick first since you did the hard work. <laughs> They're the same thing. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Nice. <laughs> One wing. Naming the Ooh. skeleton horse. Yep, yep. Skeletor. Right. Yeah, we are going to have to figure out how to get those guys out of there, though, at some point. I like that one, too, Beast Lord. Yeah. Uh, if it was like, um, I, I was thinking was more of the Star Trek reference, course, but like, yeah, was like I, nightmare. I'm trying to remember Zoot Suit Riot had a Doctor Doctor Bones. Of course, every time you start talking about music and Doctor, I think a Doctor feel good, but I, that's not. I'll have to name somebody else that. Zoot Suit Riot, I like that band. Yeah, um, it's been a while. I since don't I... know that there's a song by that though. I'd have to Google it. <laughs> I bet it okay, so we needed okay. uh, repeaters and what else? We need repeaters and torches. Oh my. Redstone torches or regular torches? Redstone torches. Redstone Got torches. It. Okay. Uh, if you look to the right of the church, you'll you'll see my template for uh, for what we're gonna do. So, in the middle of every three, we're going to have a wool block instead of a note block, a torch on top, and then we're going to have two repeaters. So it's repeater, wool block, repeater, and a torch, and that's going to be every three. A horse with no mane or a horse with no name? Because I've been oh, riding oh, a horse with horse no mane. mane. Oh, that was bad MQ all at the that, same time. That was awesome. <laughs> that was good. I'll have that to change good. that name. <laughs> oh, what, to a horse with no mame? Yes, that is good. <laughs> that works. 
Can something be both awful and adorable at the same time? Did we not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we got San Sancho Panza. <gasps> didn't didn't I name one of these other ones? Yeah, the llama drama. Yeah, there there were some incidents. Oh yeah, that's right. Because we used to have more of those guys somewhere around here. Yeah, there there was an incident. Oh. That's sad. I, I know it, I yeah, they're, earmarked they're... those guys. I, I need to go through my llamas. Uh, <laughs> Sadness may or may not have occurred. Yeah. It, <laughs> you see, uh, if, in the game there's these uh, bad guys called creepers. They creep up on you and explode. Breaking things and killing things and all sorts of other nastiness. Um, Big pointy teeth. Oh, yeah. It's Don Quixote. Hang on. Did you show, show him the taco truck? Here you go. Wait, wait, and on. Hold still. Oh, there we go. Wait, Don did Quixote. you break my glass? Okay. Yeah, I, I'll put it back. See? I put it back. Boop. Boop. Oh. Boop. <laughs> oh. Boop. It's, Boop. It's cute. You think that's going to be enough. We're going to need two repeaters and a torch for every three lamps. <laughs> hey, Reyes. Put them I, back in the box. I think uh, I think he just Reyes you. What? It's not a thing. He said, oh, that's... Hey, there's one more stack of uh, redstone torches. Yep. No, no, no. We're just... We're going to need a lot. Man, I haven't heard Creeping Death in forever. I've been on a blues kick for a while. <clears throat> uh, how many, like, what, 20 years? Uh, hey, hey, enough of that out of you. <laughs> I still I'm make Ride saying. the Lightning jokes every time. <laughs> every now and again. Uh, especially every time one of, one of our sheep hits an unfortunate uh, incident in a storm. Creepy duck. No. no, not creepy duck. Okay. Um, <gasps> However, uh, Mr. However. Be Beach Duck's uh, creepy baby came in. Oh, nice. Uh, no. <laughs> no, creepy duck is not the mascot. I'm getting distracted. Ah, uh, the signs of an unfinished project. Uh, what I was going to do is go back to... There was a couple of farms that I wanted to build to get carrots, potatoes, wheat, and beetroot. The question was where, where it was going to go. Oh, that's what we're doing. Should I meet you back there again? Yes, please. Okay. Every every time you hear one of those little, or uh, I don't know if uh, options. <laughs> yeah, every time you hear nothing, that's right. All that yeah. hard work. I, I I turn the volume up so that way you know. Uh, Arcadius likes building, uh, note blocks for when you, uh, enter and exit various buildings. It's wonderful. I'm still trying to figure so out why we got the me? random llama in the middle of the, uh, the farm here. <laughs> That's because him and his boss decided to, uh, pop up in the farm and <laughs> boss, uh, kind of died okay. in the elevator. But he survived, so I grabbed him to move him out so he didn't die in the elevator, too. He kind of died in the elevator? <laughs> no, he did die in the elevator. He, the, he got, I, I, he I got was, pulled down. I, I was going to say, uh, you don't usually kind of die. You, you either you did or you didn't. Yeah, he tried to follow me in. Anon, Beach Duck yeah. says turn up the music and walk over it again. Um, unfortunately... 
can't get the music louder. Oh, but what I can do... I can pause the background music. So he built that one. We're, we're still working on the one that goes in there. He needs some redstone help for uh, working on loops. We got... Oh, yeah, it does get a little weird when multiple people run over the plates at the same time. Um, where's the zombie? Oh, there he is. Okay. And we got one over at the church as well. Oh, yeah, that is when it becomes jazz. You, you know what the difference between a jazz musician and a blues musician is, right? A jazz musician plays a thousand chords for three people. A blues musician plays three chords for a thousand. So wrong. <laughs> is it, though? I mean, is it? I mean, not wrong, <laughs> but, like, not right. Okay, back to the back to the actual project at hand. Easily distracted today. Okay, easily distracted. Oh yeah, we I'm glad you did said it. Half that. That was my note for medic that I had to move the uh, AFK spot down a little bit and. Uh, I am slightly concerned that stuff might still get stuck on those hoppers as it goes across the water. And a potential fix for that, but I'm not sure how to do it without ruining the aesthetic of the design. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, One-Winged Angel. Okay. Uh, back to the task. So was it this middle Please. floor in the storage? Hey. Oh. Where'd you go? I'm downstairs a little bit further. Oh, come upstairs. Oh, I thought this was where we were going. Nope. Okay. Go over here. Oh. Huh. Here. I I I didn't even I didn't even know that door was there. I honestly Story room. <laughs> okay. I honestly never looked. Well, okay then. Well, that's there. Hmm. Now I get options. Alright, so the idea is that in some of this empty space down here to get carrot, potato, wheat, and beetroot farms. Um, you don't need this concrete uh, on the floor here behind behind the walls, do you? Uh, no, the only reason I put that there was to outline where the farm was going yeah. versus where I could put storage. Okay. So I don't, okay. I don't need it. You can, uh, you can tear it up and do it, but what you need down there. All right. Cause I'm thinking of starting with a small farm to get, uh, at least enough seeds and whatnot to get a bigger farm going. And I think I can get the smaller version of the farm. Fairly easy. And free up that uh that area on the other side of this where the current farm is. Uh yeah, yeah. And that way we can turn that into a decorative farm. And farm and farm and farmer John and oh wait, no. Uh, Guys, I think we have a problem. What? I think this coffee is gone. Yeah, um, that could all, oh, you know, you know, we still haven't done that we keep, that we mentioned we we're going to do. We're supposed to have a, uh, a large 3D coffee pot somewhere. 
Yeah, we have not Ooh. done our season logo yet. Yeah. We, we, it's cool. We're only a year late. Yeah. You, yeah know, you know, it's on the project backlog. It's on the agenda. <laughs> as long as it's on the to-do list, that's all that matters, right? Totally. Isn't that how that works? Totally. Mm, yeah. Okay, so how many uh, torches do I need to repeaters? Is it a even tri split? Uh, you're going to need two repeaters, one torch, and a wool block per every three lights you want lit. Two repeaters, one torch... And one wool wool. Block. Okay. Per every Any three. Color? No, it doesn't matter what color wool. I was going to use red just because, you know, redstone, but. But if we have an overabundance of stuff in uh, storage that needs to get used up, nobody's going to see it but me. Let me get that background music going. There we go. Before I get the farm together, though, I need I need to figure out how the final storage is going to happen because I I do want to sort it out and I want to make sure that the leftovers get uh put together as bone meal. Hmm. Uh, doesn't one of our farms produce like red dye or something? Yes, the flower farm. It is probably already got a bunch of red dye or red flowers. Although we've gotten a we've got an abundance of red dye. I mean, we've got a lot of red dye. Not enough to dye all these wool blocks. You mean, we we have two we have two double chests full of red wool already anyway. Over in the I know, sheep farm. I just didn't want to waste it. I didn't want to waste my imaginary resources. <laughs> I mean, look, we got the shulker box full of a couple of stacks of red dye. We don't waste imaginary resources. We're not wasting resources. That's what the farm's there for. How is it a waste? Never mind. I'm going to go back to my project. Like a good idea. What, that I go back to my project? Yep. Hmm. All right. Uh, we're going to need chests. Yeah. BRB. Uh-oh. That's never a good sign. The nice thing about paintings is you can pass through them, so uh, you can use them for some really nice secret doors. I, I think I use the, the maintenance entrance more than I do the actual entrance.
Oh, we, we, we end up in some very fun resource situations, uh, particularly on this server. Um, like, this lighting what was Rayast's idea. I foolishly said that if she wanted to do that lighting, if she got built all the lamps and laid them out, I would light them up. I kind of figured that mm -hmm. would mean that she wouldn't build all oh, the lamps okay. and put them See, down. Why would you challenge her like that? <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting that Rayest is one of those people that uh, if you say say something, she hears challenge accepted. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You don't know at all. Oh huh? yeah, when we, we can argue about just about anything. Although to be <laughs> fair for context, IRL... Anon is my older brother. Yeah, that, that kind of influences things a little bit, too. <laughs> <laughs> and our Katius and I are married and have been for 10 years. Woo -woo, not killing yep. people for 10 years. And <laughs> Medic and Arcadius know each other IRL from work. Yeah. And have I, been super I, close friends. I worked with them too. The three you of us worked at the same idea. place. Al although, well, I, I, mean, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't prank somebody didn't with the soda. Bodies, but... <laughs> it had nothing anyway, to do with and thing. then uh -huh. uh, we all got introduced <laughs> and started hanging out and playing, and then we uh, adopted Medic, mm -hmm. and now we're all one big coffee living family. Uh, yeah, you have to join the uh, five dollar Patreon page if you want to see that video <laughs> with the prank. I'm just saying, <laughs> I, I don't have a Patreon page yet. Working on it. That's in the. <laughs> that's in progress. I was saying that mostly to get a rise out of uh, <laughs> out of medic, medic, but I'm guessing he's not here. Uh, I know he's not been feeling good, so he he might yeah. be a little too under the weather to rise to that occasion. That's fair. No, 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 not not the murder video. That's a different one. <laughs> uh. No, the one where uh, a certain person gets pranked with a soda. That's, yeah, that's... yeah. It's a good video. It's a really good video. I mean, it, it's a video that I'm sure was positively deleted this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not that it's backed up in four places. Um... <clears throat> Hi, Medic. How are you? Um, I'm back. <laughs> you okay? You alive? Yeah. Yeah, I got me some more coffee, so oh, hopefully yeah. that helps. Oh, coffee, coffee always, always helps. helps. <laughs> no, I was telling everyone uh, in, in chat, Medic, that uh, if they joined the... Uh, what did I say originally? Five? Yeah, you, you <laughs> said five. $5. Yeah, you said five dollar Patreon five. here. Okay. I was like, uh, I don't remember anymore. Five dollar uh, Patreon that uh, they could gain access to the, the video of a certain medic being pranked by a, a different one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't upload that, did you? <laughs> It's a really fun video. It is not. <laughs> I mean, except that it is. Oh my goodness. It's the video that <laughs> never now, seems to go away. I know. I've I've everybody I know that has that video, I have convinced to get rid of it, <laughs> except for one person who has now spread it like a virus. <laughs> it deserves to be spread. You can't hold the truth back. <laughs> I need emeralds and or uh, redstone. Thank you, One Wing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you, you guys don't want to see that video. Trust you me. Do. No, you, you do. You do. You so you do. do. You, you do. Yes, you, do. <laughs> you absolutely need to see it. We'll, 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 uh, if if we'll Alan won't put it on his, I'll put it on mine. <laughs> We'll, we'll work Neither of you have Patreons, though. You can't be advertising or showing off like Patreon stuff without oh, there being yeah, a thing. I was joking about it, but now people want to see it. 
Every, you got to yeah, release the video. Yeah, I guess someone's going to have to get that fixed. Every, everybody, everybody wants the video. <laughs> We, oh, we we might have to, I might have to upload it as a clip on my Twitch channel. There you go. That would work. It's not that Dude, hard. you guys. Oh. <laughs> Poor medic. <laughs> That's bad. Uh, beast, you don't want to see it, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, really I'm, do. I'm thinking he does. I'm thinking he does. It's kind of amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you whisk your coffee? Oh no, I didn't. Uh, I don't. I don't put anything in, in my coffee that's not cream or sugar. That's uh, one thing that I gave up years ago was anything of an alcoholic sort. Okay, leaves more for the rest of us. Mm. Absolutely, true alky. Look at that. <laughs> nah. Just saying that that's not awfully alky to me, and uh, you are drinking Irish, so I'm just mm -hmm. saying. <laughs> oh, thank you, One Wing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you guys, uh, you guys wouldn't like drinking medic. <laughs> so I gave that up a long time ago. For a second, I thought you were you getting really ready to like say drinking, drinking medic coffee, and uh, like, no, I, I've had plenty of coffee made by medics. Well, no, medic coffee is a different story. Medic coffee is awesome, especially well, no, med medic coffee is usually how long is that popping sitting there? I just hit the power button, turn it back on again, and uh, you know, exactly. We don't and have time if, you, if you're uh, <laughs> if you're lucky enough to meet a medic frog, meaning. You know, former medic, former Navy, it's even better coffee. Because that could have been sitting there for a week and everyone kept put, turning it back on. Ew. Not not only that, but it, you also add a little bit of salt to it. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What? Wrong with that? what? Oh. Yeah, it helps you, cut you, down you, on the You don't like salty coffee? Bit. I love about it. salt and no. Uh, a yes, you do love salt. Like my blood pressure goes up watching you apply salt to your food. But yeah, the salt <laughs> cuts down on the bitterness a little bit. Yep, yeah, that is an old Navy trick. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of salt to the uh, coffee pot, and it cuts a little, it cuts down on the bitterness. I mean, unless you like your coffee as bitter as that unit secretary, but. <laughs> Oh, sorry, did Going I say that part today. out loud? <laughs> that sounds there. like he's creating penicillin. No, I, I create penicillin in my uh, crock pot when I forget to wash it for three weeks. Uh, oh. Oh, Reyes, <laughs> you said you needed emeralds, right? Yes, many. All right, they're over in my ender chest. <gasps> You're mean. That's funny. Uh, okay, for for those of you who don't know how Minecraft works, this chest right here is called an Ender chest, and it is individual storage. So only I can access the stuff that's inside there. You must pay penance and emeralds. Oh, where are you at? I have to buy all of the redstone. Are, are you in storage? Or are you confessing? No, I'm in storage. Okay. There you go. For the lighting project. Oh, thank you. Black uh, did you see how much I already made? Look, look, look. Ooh, I nice. get in there. What's with the iron and uh, sticks? Oh, I was also um, working on making hoppers because we always need a backlog of those and we were down oh. to like half stack. Yeah, I just made a half stack for this project. Oh, okay. Well, I made a bunch more um, because. I put a bunch of sea lanterns. Did I put them in my mailbox? I did put them in my mailbox. Okay. Wait, what else do I have in there? 
Oh, that's right. That's for that's for another project. And that's the Happy New Year box. Okay. Short term memory something or other. Can't remember what it's called. Is it the first or the second thing to go with age? Um I'm I'm gonna Sorry. refrain from jokes and I want a cookie for that. Mm. Well, you you want a cookie anyway, but <laughs> I do want a cookie. Oh my gosh, especially after boot camp. <laughs> That's right, There's because cookies. you and your co-workers are, are starting that uh, exercise boot camp thingy. Yes, and I want to die. Like a lot. You want to die? Or or, or you're wishing some harm on the co-worker that uh, started this project? No, because it'll be good at the end. It just, it's just like it, it's today the it's... we were all like <laughs> I, I'm, we I've were all down debating. On the unfinished projects, Beach Duck. Mm -hmm. uh, Beach Duck, you do not have room to talk. I'm just saying we learned oh, it Lord. from you. <laughs> um, you know, it's it's funny now that I've become part of the family. I'm starting to realize I have a lot of unfinished projects now too. <laughs> that works. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know. About that. It starts as a little project, and then a bigger one, and then a bigger one. Now I'm wondering why I took that down. Anyway, already. so okay. what happened was... <laughs> what happened was... Um, we were all trying to figure out, like, who was going to answer the phones today, because the phones were heavy. <laughs> wow so we kept rotating who would grab the phone not because we were being good colleagues and rotate who's answering the phone but because it was like guys I need a break from answering the phone I just answered it twice can someone else answer it that's too heavy ooh, ooh, okay dude it was a thing <laughs> it is not okay like <laughs> That that really bad, huh? Boot camps are not one size fits all, and this trainer dude apparently believes they are. So oh. it was kind of like the one time that I tried yoga, not realizing that they're <laughs> supposed to be different levels, and if they don't label it, it's not beginner. Oh yeah. Because yeah, the yoga thing was like, okay, take your head now, shove it where the sun doesn't shine. Okay, everybody feeling good, and <laughs> no, so <laughs> everyone feeling good. <laughs> so that's what boot camp was like. We show up, and there's no preamble. There's no like, okay, we're gonna explain to people how to work out or how to do this. He was like, see the station, you're doing laps of the station station see the station you're doing push-ups of the station see the station you're doing this really weird combination of burpees step up jump over the thing jump on top of a 30 inch block do this do that do this do that okay got it next station and there were like 16 <laughs> stations and we rotated out every minute oh fun oh and fun <laughs> he preset the weights on everything so like we get to the bicep curls and it was the the bars 45 and he had tens on either side which again doesn't sound yep. like much but if you haven't worked out in like a decade um <laughs> oh i was wondering then... if you can actually give a you know an actual year for that oh yeah no we're good <laughs> But yeah, so uh, if you haven't worked out in like a decade, you're looking at that thing like, can I just like do just the bar or maybe wait the weight? Can I just like bench press the weight or, you know, bicep curl the weight? Yeah. So yeah. And then we get around the first time and I was like, oh, good. I survived like all the stations and me and the other girls who haven't been working out are like, oh, look, we survived the first round. He's like, OK, let's start set two. And we're like, wait, what? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> this is work so oh. what happened was one what of the girls at work was. has been like super into <laughs> boot camp at this uh local gym and <laughs> Um, she's been doing really, really good. And I mean, she has gone from like having a level of asthma that she can't like walk from one to room to another without oh. having an asthma attack. And Yikes. she has a few spine from a sad surgery that happened a long, long time ago. 
and like could barely like lift anything and just was struggling a lot and they're like hey you should start working out it'll help with both of those and over the last year she's been doing the boot camps and everything and she is like a freaking boss now especially considering she has really like dangerously intense asthma and a fused a fully fused spine Ooh. and so she made a bet with one of the other girls in the office and okay. yes yes when wing it, that yeah. many times it crossed my mind that was like maybe you should like teach people to lift these things before somebody drops it on their face uh. um but nobody did <laughs> So she made a bet with one of the other girls, and if she won, the other girl had to sign up for one round of boot camp. And boot camp is three times a week uh, for six weeks. And, of course, she won the bet, so the other person had to do boot camp, but was really struggling like with the motivation to sign up, and because she's not someone who would naturally ever want to sweat and or exercise. So while they were struggling back and forth with this, so being she's a medic. The new person, <laughs> I was like, hey, if you want someone to go who's also going to suck horribly, I'll sign up too. And then once I said that, one of the other girls was like, oh, well, I always wanted to go, but I was scared of being like the only person who sucked at this. I was like, oh, don't worry about this. I'm going to suck worse than everybody. So if you guys need some motivation, just look at me because I literally have not exercised in like a decade beyond taking our dog for a walk. So everybody is hyped and now the entire office is going to boot camp and dying together because that's the kind of community involvement we have. Because teamwork. <laughs> it's teamwork makes death and bad decisions. Yeah, so Beast, One Wing, don't get any ideas about turning your community into that because, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear for a second I thought it said everybody's surfing together and I was like no nah, we're a little too far away from the you know, ocean front for that yes but, everybody uh, is suffering <laughs> together and suffering it is together. awful <laughs> I can oh. just I can just see Beast in his stream alright everybody get down and do do 10 push ups all I'd be doing is hitting the Dean alert <laughs> Dean! Dean! Um, yes, uh, and yes, Beast Lord, they are, <laughs> they're definitely going to kill it, one way or the other. Uh, yeah. We're going to kill it or it's going to kill us. Something's going to happen. But <laughs> it's fun, and especially being the new person in the office, it's nice being able to participate with everybody and just getting to do something that's not work to kind of get to know everybody. So that part's kind of cool. I'm just saying, Rast was eyeballing those uh, trash bags at the grocery store a little too hard the other day. I wouldn't, like, buy it with other people around. Or at a <laughs> store that has cameras. <laughs> you are so not the person I'm taking with me when I commit murder. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Someone needs to be here to take care of Jubba. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't have the sad Jubba face on uh, on Q anymore. I'll have to fix that again. Jubba is, so cute. is the cutest black lab ever. We're not biased at all. No, not at all. No, not at all. Mm-mm. Jello misses his uncle medic. He does. He misses everybody. Especially people with treats. Dude, what I love that video of us chilling at your house and him jumping at any noise and going to the door to check if it was you. <laughs> it was so adorable. Uh oh. I hear phantoms. Is is that me? I am not in a good place for this. Uh, it's not me. Head to the farm. Head to the farm. Let me know if it works. Uh, nope. So my slept. Okay. I can leave the beach. You know, Beach Duck, I don't know if he misses the beach because I still don't know that he gets, like, what the beach is. Yeah. We, we didn't get a chance to 
<laughs> Let him uh, actually. Yep. Yep, that's me. I kind of figured it wasn't me. And me? I'm down in a hole. Ah. Dark as my Do soul. Do you have emeralds? Mm-mm. Do you go through all those emeralds already? Yep. All right, hang on. I got more. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to go oh, trade with the other dudes. Uh, phantoms. Uh, phantoms. <laughs> phantoms are a mob that got added on, so if you don't sleep for more than three days, at nighttime they will spawn, swoop down, and... Uh, eat your face. Eat your face. Yeah, yeah you, you've Jinx. got... <laughs> you, you, you I was trying not to do that for everything. <laughs> but, well, it's, yeah. it's true. Eat your face. They, they the are, they are uh, rough. They're rough. The only, the only thing that doesn't eat your face is skeletons. That's just because they don't they get shoot close you. enough. Yeah, they shoot you before you close into melee range. Well, that's not true. Because creepers don't eat your face. They blow your face they off. They blow up your face. Yeah, they blow your face <laughs> off. <laughs> well, incidentally, there's a phantom membrane laying on the ground in front of the nether portal. Where's rest? Don't I ask rest? Oh, I'm trading with the um, other dudes in the trading hall. Oh, <laughs> I'm waiting for the people to talk to their station. No, it's not time yet. They work bankers' hours. Oh, they need to figure out their life. Uh, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. After all the times you got mad at people standing outside your store door, you know, <laughs> staring pointedly at their watch, like, you know, it's two minutes before open. You gonna open anyway? Yeah, but those those are all real people, and these are digital people who like just wait hey, here with bated breath oh, to help mind. us. You got them. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> one, one one of the data packs we have. Um, I I wanted to, I wanted to play around with Minecraft's ability to uh, adjust what different mobs say, so I've replaced the default villager sounds with me. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Hello. So yeah, it, it it was a fun little experiment. Hey, Constable John's not in the corner anymore. Nice. <laughs> For the longest time, he was just sitting here, standing in this sad little square in the corner, like you know he'd done something wrong. I kept checking, and everybody was still there. So uh, you know, I don't know. You heard whispers? <laughs> oh, what, what oh were yeah, you doing yeah, staying you... up for two days straight? Mm-mm, mm, -mm. mm, -mm. do some crazy damage, though. Yeah. That, uh... Mm. <laughs> Anon to your left is that phantom membrane. Ah, nice. And some XP. Am I the only one who's, like, super amazed that, like, when we were kids, we could stay up for, like, days on end? Or and now it's days like, on end. Yeah, it's, like, 10 p.m. I can't. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, nope. I'm done. I'm done, dog. Done. <laughs> I came in here for a reason. Like, it doesn't need to get excessive. <laughs> Away, I'm hanging onto the gray concrete. Exactly, it's like yeah. I was awake and I peopled. Like that's yeah. that this this should be all that I'm asked of. I, I I stayed up late for for New Year's and now it's messed up my entire long weekend. You know that that kind of. <laughs> I mean, hypothetically, hypothetically. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> totally wasn't snoring with Jeb in the middle of the. No, Java was snoring. <laughs> like, Java always snores. They, they, there, there are days that I'm surprised it doesn't get picked up by the microphone. <laughs> it doesn't? No, it doesn't. I, I am continually up. surprised by that. Hmm. Why do I have a random potato? Uh, I don't know. Oh, 
Um, it is for me. One wing. Yeah. It's definitely <laughs> draining for me. Hopefully, this will be the year that I finally get out of first response, get out of being an essential employee. You mean actually have a get, a, job get out of working that, eight days on, eight days off? Yeah, doing anything outside of eight hour shifts. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you on that one. Uh, oh. Doing 10 eights that turn into 10 twelves in a row is uh, a little exhausting. You spend half your time off recuperating. Yeah, exactly. All right, what am I gonna put over, over those that you can still open the chest with? Right lamp. You can never have enough light. Talk to your station. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lady. You gonna open up? Is that what I heard? Yes. Uh, not just morphine. Like, I mean... <laughs> or less fiend. There are people who get stuck on, like those no dose pills mm -hmm. because they're taking so much like there are a lot of people who end up like all sorts of messed up because of those schedules yeah hmm. i remember there were some a unfortunate series of unexpected tornadoes because in our part of the country tornadoes aren't really a normal thing and our town got like decimated by a bunch of them oh. and because it was emergency whatever um the guys at the hospital they were all pulling like they'd work 16 18 hours and they're like oh you're gonna get off they get ready to walk out oh there's a call and 36 hours later they're still at work yeah and i'm just like at what point like are you asking them to get into a car accident because they're driving an ambulance wow. on no sleep for seven uh, for that many that's... hours straight let, let's not uh, forget the culpability of a certain um, system for not abiding by the no more than 18 hours in a so many hour period rule. Like, legit. Yeah, rule. the hospital they like, worked for was kind of notorious for going um, rules. What rules? Well, well let's just say that there's a reason that the three scheduled. of us don't work at that hospital anymore. And we'll, we'll leave it at that. You know, I was, uh, I had an actual schedule of 24 hour shifts. I can't oh. tell you how many times I've drove an ambulance and not realized how I actually got to a place. Talk about that. That's not a, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that's a therapy yeah, that's... moment right there. Yep. Yeah, no beast. That's like yeah. a legit, like, part of it. Uh, a friend of mine still, still doing that shift. He's, uh, he, he runs. 36 hour weekends and then use the rest of the week to run a side job I honestly don't know how he manages under those hours I don't know either because I'd come off and I'd be dead yeah literally you say accepted it's day. more of like well, I mean, they it, let you go through school and give you all these pretty pictures of what it's going to be and then <laughs> you show up for your first shift and they're like oh here's your schedule if you want a job if you want to keep uh, a job. And then, it's uh, the only <laughs> game in, uh, in that not just that part, county, yeah. but three counties around it. Yeah. Well, uh, there there was one other county. I mean, we eventually bought that hospital. But... Yeah. It's the only So that's the sad <laughs> parts of so being a paramedic for, uh, in certain parts of the country. Yeah. Monopoly but there are also it. some wonderful, hilarious parts like uh, there was a frequent flyer who's a senior that ends up in the hospital a lot um that arcadius I, was taking oh, care yo, of yo, and... yo. family friendly family friendly no not what? not that one i, I think i oh, think it's one. the okay. i think it's a different no. one cheetos 
Oh, that lady. Okay. Cheeto lady. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Keep no. Going. And I, I know the one that you're talking about too. And no, no, we won't be going there today. Oh, no, that's, <laughs> senior that's citizens. <laughs> that yeah. um, senior citizens that are struggling to eat, um. They, they get given basically edible exactly things right, um, to give them the munchies so that they'll want to eat. So at a certain Arcadius point, calories walks into calories. this. <laughs> exactly. So Arcadius walks in this old lady's room and, you know, introduces himself and everything. And she looks at up and apparently in the sweetest little voice just looks up and goes, do you have any Cheetos? <laughs> And a Did year I... later, that yeah. lady's in hospital again. And this, I mean, Your we're talking you, like she doesn't... has. She has. Go dementia. ahead. She has dementia too, so it's not like you know yeah. you'd expect. Yeah, so she she has dementia, and this time I'm doing paperwork to discharge her. And I get all the paperwork together. My partner's already been to the room for a while, and I'm walking towards the room, and I I can hear my partner saying something to her about checking with my partner maybe he has something and as i walk around the corner the same little old lady turns looks at me and then looks back to my partner no i already asked him he doesn't have any cheetos <laughs> my heart broke i was like oh my god <laughs> yeah and so you, you and then and... i'm pretty sure he hit up the vending machine on the way out <laughs> no actually i had my partner pull over to a gas station but Point remains. You got yeah, the since, woman some Cheetos. Since we're past the, the, the statute of limitations, I can go ahead and say that I illegally stopped a, an ambulance during transport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was so, totally that being said, Cheetos there are also some very board. sweet, adorable <laughs> moments. Yeah. That happened as well. And, and, and there are some... There, there are some of the... Uh, having fun at other people's Hey y'all, watch this moments. Um, but we also uh, won't be getting into those because many of them are not of an appropriate. Uh... <laughs> come, come back for the uh, the dark roast espresso. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time, medic streaming. Ask one. Ask those questions. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Next time, medic streaming Thanks. while I'm on. Otherwise, I can't tell them. I'm sure he has plenty of his own. But... Uh, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> it, it doesn't take long to accumulate more than a few of those. Yeah. Um, you all. say you can imagine, and I'm going to tell you, no. you think you've heard everything. There are things. <laughs> you, you really, you, you're pretty sure that by this point, you've heard everything. And then Friday comes. And you go, oh, you you deserve a medal because you you managed to do something that I never. Okay, you you deserve a medal. That... And a sign. Yeah, and a sign. <laughs> At, believe it or not, Monday was actually a lot worse than Fridays. Um. Because everybody's all all friends and happy and, and loving to hang out with each other on you know Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then uh, Monday rolls around and they're they're less happy to be around each other and that's usually when the fist fights and other fights start. Um, also, all the people who decided that they're too hungover to go to work on Monday, so they go into the ER hoping for a sick note. Um, Ooh. Also, full moons. That is like apparently a legit thing. No, that yes. is. Yeah. Yes, it is. I feel like I knocked something in one of these. Okay, I guess I didn't. Oh, get crazy on full moons. Mm hmm. If you guys don't mind talking about it, what do you guys do for your, uh, you know, not behind a computer life? <laughs> no. No, I was asking. I, I, think oh, yeah. I, I figured she was asking. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure I <laughs> know what yeah. you do for a living because <laughs> I I'm married say. to you. 
I was going to say, it's kind of obvious. Eh? <laughs> Okay. Although they may not know, um, since since leaving, uh, when I worked at the hospital, I, I worked in staff training. Uh, my degrees in computer programming. I handled all the online training and that kind of stuff. And uh, since leaving, my new career, which I started recently, is now repairing and refurbishing instruments. Hmm. Nice. Uh, is this a private security company or is this a venue security? Where am I going to fit the redstone for this? I think I need to dig out a wall. Oh, cool. Oh, That's I bet nice. BlizzCon brought some really interesting uh, stories. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet that did. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That is cool. Actually, no. The ho actually, mm, mm. all of those could bring interesting stories. Yeah, all of those could bring some interesting stories. Right, um. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh, that I'm, is a mistake. I, I, I think I know who turned. <laughs> I, I think I know who got the better of that one. That is a very bad mistake. Yeah, no, no, that that's a that's a negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that! Mm. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to laugh at that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, you did. I bet that puppy was so proud of himself for doing his job well. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, I, I had a brief period where I didn't I didn't do anything either. I went on a bit of a sabbatical and uh that that was helpful. I kinda wish I could have afforded to go on a longer sabbatical to be honest, but uh Oh, dogs are easy to love, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Beast, that's, that's nice. awesome. That's nice. Yeah, people can be fun to watch. People can be hilarious to watch. And so One now of it my doesn't surprise very, me that very fighting over a bag of popcorn. One of my very earliest jobs was working at a. Is, is it's this... a Build a Bear ripoff. Yeah, um, I was getting ready and to ask it was if in it this, was the one. It was in the a mall. kiosk. Yep, it yeah. was a kiosk in the center of the mall, and I got to see so many very interesting life moments. <laughs> that's that's a very polite way of saying that. Hey, don't be sorry about being fortunate yeah. enough to live like that. There is nothing wrong with that. Sorry, just realized I forgot to put the phone on mute. And some sp oh. <laughs> I don't know. Would you call that Build-A-Bear ripoff fun or... Um, honestly, for where I was at, like in college, that was, I thought it was fun because I made a big deal of like, we had this thing where, um, the kids would pick out like this little fabric heart and kiss it and make a wish on it and put it inside the bear before he stuffed it. And like, there was a lot of stuff of it that was really, really cute. Um, so I enjoyed that. And for some of the kids that we worked with, 
they had a blast building those bears. They were really, really important to them. Um, because we were in a military town, there were a lot of people who were making bears with like yeah. dad's voice in it for while dad was overseas. So there were there were lots of it. That, I mean, yeah, it was a college job, but there were a lot of things that were really cool to get to be a part of a kind of a blip moment in someone's life that mattered to them. Unfortunately, it was before the uh, internet enabled teddy bears. Yes, because those are creepy. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, in interesting so like is it. the and diplomatic way, and the internet enabled one was a because I I still keep tabs on computer security and various IT stuff. Uh, there was a company called Cloud Pets that the idea was uh, you would have an internet-enabled teddy bear that you could record little messages for your kid on using your phone app, and they would play it and listen to it. At, at least that was that was the theory. That that was the idea. Um, and un unfortunately for Cloud Pets, somebody figured out that. Uh, I can't dig up any further on this one. Uh, unfortunately for Cloud Pets, uh, somebody found out that uh, the the database that holds all those recordings was not secure, and that anybody with a, a, a modicum of skill could replace the recordings with whatever they wanted and listen to whatever recordings they wanted. And all sorts of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's creepy. Yeah. Uh, Troy Hunt has a really good write-up on the whole thing. Uh, he also did one on a, a kid's smartwatch. It's a GPS-enabled smartwatch for um, helicopter parents. And... Um, he was asked by a security team to help them double check and make sure the vulnerability that they thought was there was there. So there is this uh, very deep Greek voice uh, calling on his daughter's phone. He knew about this, that this was testing. Um, and yeah, it's, it's the kind of thing that makes you look twice at a lot of the Internet of Things type stuff. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard tapping. that right. It. It's a thing. All the icky. It's a thing. It happened, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Although in oh. retrospect, um, <laughs> I also remember at that uh, Build a Bear rip off job that um. I had this ex-boyfriend who kept coming around and just like hanging out. <laughs> Ten years later, I married him. I can't believe you would marry a stalker. I know. I can't either. It was a show you ladies. I figured that's where this was going. Listen to your mothers. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong I love your mother awesome lady especially the last you know half decade <laughs> but when we first got married I honestly worried that I was going to get stabbed in the back every time she hugged me I mean there may or may not have been reason our high school years were rough <laughs> They, they were. They were. I'm just saying. I mean, I love her to death. I love her to pieces. She's an awesome woman now, but back then, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you hearing that beach duck? <laughs> yeah, there, there was, there was an so interesting... So, Anon, there. where's you? I am trying to figure out how much space I need for the redstone I need. And, and <laughs> yep, that's all I get for that. Yep, guessing. <laughs> I hear doors. More doors. Less doors. Is medic still alive? He got quiet, and I'm worried. Yeah. All right.
right. Uh, this is definitely a start. I guess I know what I'm working on next stream. I'm going to put that right there. <laughs> oh. I just... Wait. Where's the, uh, where's the note blocks for this? I need to make sure I don't start digging into the note blocks. Uh, you might want to check with... Because somebody doesn't put actual blocks under their under their note and redstone and stuff. They just use dirt or whatever <laughs> happens to be under there. <clears throat> Thank you, One Wing. Yes, yes, we are like the super weirdo story that uh, <laughs> our first date was back when we were freshmen in high school, which was 20 years ago. I'm surprised and, you actually uh, gave a date. No, no, I'm okay with it now. Like, okay. especially, like, for how long we've been together, like, that's kind of a big deal. You alive over there? So... You okay, Medic? I heard the yeah, microphone. Yeah, back. You don't back. sound good. Yeah. That's uh, alright. All the night there, buddy? No, I got too much to do. Ah. Okay. Um, high school sweethearts might be taking it a step too far. We were intensely on and off again for a decade. Like, intensely on and totally off again. Her fault, by the way. Totally her fault. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you go if anybody that? believes that, I get a bridge to sell uh, you. Uh, yeah, no. uh, so what were, at the end of I one. I mean. So what were we saying about long-lasting relationships? <laughs> That. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then we accidentally ran into each other at Harris Teeter a decade later. I had moved away from town, lived at the ocean for a while. Whoa, 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 I don't whoa, whoa, even know whoa, if he missing, knew I was back. You're missing some steps. <laughs> what? What step am I missing? He stalked you for like a month waiting for you to go to Harris Teeter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that? Stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were because both seeing here. other people and uh, ran into each other out of town. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was awful. So I was living like a couple hours away and we both ended up in a completely different third town with our people we were dating at the time and ended up sharing a bowling lane. <laughs> like dude <laughs> like are you kidding me <laughs> like we're not even speaking to each other at this point in our life didn't know where either person was and just like I'm at a bowling lane on the other side of the state and literally just hear someone Rachel and I look up and I'm like what uh and just like my brain, just done. Absolutely done. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. And then after I moved back home, we ran into each other and I totally tried to avoid him and failed. Wait, and... wait, 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 wait. You tried to avoid me by going to the bookstore you know that I played D&D &D at. I, I, I hate, okay, I'm going to tell the internet this. I didn't think you still played D&D. &D. Anyway. Get the heck out of here. She thought you grew up. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just saying. Anyway. Um, not <laughs> so, wait, we're not going there. Okay. Anyway, that's just because I'm the kickbutt wife who plays D&D &D with you and plays video games. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Anyway, we ran into each other at Harris Teeter, and we he gave me his number. I didn't want that responsibility, so he was on his way to work. I called him like five minutes later and was like, hey, do you want to go hang out tonight? And he was like, dude, you, you know I'm working. I'm like, yeah, but now I've done the thing where I called you and the ball's in your court, so it's not my problem anymore, so peace, click. <laughs> Sad thing is, is, I have no problems visualizing that. 
exactly the way you said it. <laughs> yeah, that's like no exaggeration. That's exactly just how that the conversation happen. went down. <laughs> And we started dating, and then by the end of that year, we were married. So that is the cute, sweet, weird story that no one ever gets to tell. That we actually live. Oh no, they're not allowed to play the game Diplomacy. That That's how they've stayed married for 10 no. years. No. We, we banned that game so that we would stay married. Yeah. Because it would be bad. Because we're both really competitive gamers. Let's see. You want know insulting about that Just part, though? A little competitive. A little. <laughs> What's insulting? The fact that you got me the anniversary edition of Diplomacy, and I've never <laughs> been able to play it. You're just not going to play it with me. You can play it with other people, just not me. <sighs> Okay. Oh, so yeah, uh, Beast is actually okay. interested okay. So in those are down there. Anyway. Oh, really? Oh, no way. Yes. Oh, really? I, he's been asking me questions about 3.5 in 5th edition, <laughs> and I uh, try to explain you know, that 3.5 is what we play. But I haven't really gone into why 3.5 is what we play. So if you guys are, you know, would like yeah. to expound more on D and D to kind of give him an idea about it. All right, who's going? Take it away. Go for it. Okay. So yeah, we really first wow. off, not, we not do play. <laughs> <laughs> we play 3.5 number one because those books are freaking expensive and we have like all of them number two <laughs> uh th there's a reason why we bought some very nice scotch and whiskeys for the people who helped us move yeah um like all of them and there are so many books and they're heavy anyway um so that that honestly is part of it the other part of it is of all of the systems 3.5 is the most fully developed and fleshed out system yeah. and it allows the most oh, like really, really finite nitpicky control of your character so you can make it literally whatever you want um, there are some systems that 100% admittedly are much easier for beginners to get. Yeah. Um, 5e is one of those. Like 5e is really, really good for somebody just starting out with D&D because it does a lot of the work for you. Uh, as far as like pen and paper and making some of the decisions and not making it like, well, here's 150 <laughs> books, read all of them and know everything about D&D. So it's, it's a lot less intimidating. Yeah. But, but as someone who started with 3.5, I I want to be able to make literally every decision about my character. I want to be able to have this really fully fleshed out story where my character, if they have two skill points and something random, I have this whole story arc for why they have that. And that's the part that we love. And I think for our group, speaking of the Coffee Craft members here, that's part of what makes us have so much fun together because most of us are not here well, none of us. There are other friends that we have that are part of that Dungeons & Dragons group, too. Um, but the four of us are... We want to tell a story with our characters. We want to have fun making a full imaginary person. And telling that person's life saga and watching as they get in horrible situations. Because Arcadius is in the group. <laughs> and... Um, I mean, you insult and, one gargoyle you know. and you get a reputation. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> Jeez. So that's why we play 3.5. And that is why I love 3.5. It also has the setting that is our very favorite setting, which is called Eberron. And it is a fun, not steampunk, but kind of magic meets science world. Yeah. And it's fun. You have people running around with magic that are also riding on trains called lightning rails and on ships that can that are sentient 
All sorts of fun. All yeah, it's, sorts of it's fun. It's a really, really fun world to play in. Uh, I spent about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, talking to Arcadius today about uh, Eberron and different things. And one of the things that we talked about was definitely trying to figure out how to do a D&D &D stream where all of us can actually be on together on the streams and play D&D. &D. Um, That's something that we're trying to figure out how to do with our limited resources. You, you should be able to do a screen capture of the Discord video. Uh, the big question would be how to do the maps and that sort of thing. Uh, you could use Roll20 or you know, somebody could learn to use the tabletop simulator that they have. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I need this to drink conversation it. at all. I need a little more coffee uh, to clear my throat. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> okay. Anywho, Anywho. Um, I would love to do that, though. I think yeah. that would be a lot of fun. Although, full disclosure, a lot of those that get live streamed, my one concern is the things <laughs> that you do are in perpetual there for the scrutiny of the internet, which is such a kind critic. Uh, um, yeah, we, we, we do. And while we do play frequently, when your game system is 150 pages of rules, you are bound to make some mistakes. And I would want to make sure that we like publicly put in there like, hey, yeah. if you're looking for like <laughs> the rules, rules lawyering yeah. Yeah. or like, well, on, you know, second 157, whatever, you, you know, you this person did this, like, I would definitely want to do well, kind of like how Critical Role does, where it's like, hey guys, yeah. like, this is, this is us having fun, so if we make a mistake on a rule, like, I'm sorry, your feelings not, got hurt. Not not to mention that one of the things that I do love about the way Arcadius runs the games is, is that, I, wait, hey, hold up, how am I automatically being volunteered to run this? <laughs> because you're, you're, the, on. you're the DM. You're just, the man. Okay, just because I'm always a DM normally doesn't mean I'm always a DM forever. Well, it I does mean, when nobody be, else is DMing. To be fair, if <laughs> you want Arcadius, uh -oh. because I promised you if I ever got a job that had kinder hours, I would spend time and I would actually run that campaign or rope. Hallelujah! What? Oh, uh, now you're gonna force me to 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 finish the gift I was working on for you for that. Uh oh, I, I figured I had at least a couple of years. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh. good luck. <laughs> oh, I mean, she did already give you about two years. <laughs> I mean, for for context, Beast Lord, uh, I have run a couple of campaigns, but I historically have always done one shots because yeah. they're easier to run. And I run what's called a sandbox, which is you write the game in such a way that everyone's kind of built into there. There's natural boundaries. You, you can't go yeah, where you anywhere can you want. And that helps when you're a newer DM. But I've honestly been playing long enough that, and I've had a couple ideas for a story arc that I've wanted to run that I've been for a hot minute talking about DMing a long-term campaign. Yeah. Like for a long hot minute. Um, why are there random yellow glass blocks? Isn't that containing something? Oh, we did that as a border for your, um... From the note blocks? Whatchamacallit stuff. Yeah, for the note blocks. Well, uh, if you want to see that, harass the boys to make that be a thing. <laughs> We'll have to find a consistent okay, okay. date and time. 
We will. We'll, which we'll is, have to figure it. Which is difficult because of my schedule. I wasn't going to throw yeah, you. Yeah, your like schedule that. is not cute. No. Every other Thursday. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, won't be any Thursday. I, I work I, every, I Thursday. every Thursday. That was. That was... <laughs> oh goodness, goodness! Oh, well, you know, if, you if, if I hit the lottery, it would be good. Seriously, I got a ladder and everything right around the corner. <laughs> what? Where? Right here. You, you just walked past it twice. I shall harass them to the best of my abilities. Thank yeah. you, Beast. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. This makes me very happy. Oh, boy. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we will definitely Why have to get something going, though. Base? I guess huh. I need to work on a... Uh, a uh... Oh, having a cranial flagellants moment. I hear those hurt sometimes. On a character? Uh, uh, you know, the when dialects of... Uh, oh. oh. Well, thank you for coming by. Yes, One Wing, thank Definitely, you very much. Uh, it's good to see you yeah. again. Glad you, you joined us. And uh, we do this every Tuesday. And there's uh, all sorts of fun to be had. We've actually got. Uh, Feel free to pop on we, by. We say we. I, I've got. I've got previous live streams archived up on the YouTube channel. If you're ever bored and need a deep, soothing voice in the background. <laughs> uh oh, what are you throwing at me now? Oh, nice. <laughs> Done. Uh. Now, you, you know what? Just to save us the copyright thing, you, you, you should uh, misspell Katan and, and make the TM a DM. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Kmart Katan. Wait, K Kmart's not a thing anymore. Um, just spell, yeah, just spell Katan with a K. Here. It is with a K. Have a great night. Thanks, One Wing. <laughs> Good night, one night, guys. Have fun. Oh, the note blocks. All of them. Here, where'd you go? What did I come in here for? What? Oh, Dark Oaks. Ooh, lives. pretty. Can I put it up on a thing? Where do I put it up on a thing? A thing? There's a thing. What thing? The yeah. thingy thing? Yeah. So I've made so much concrete that I have almost worn through this netherite pickaxe. Uh, netherite pickaxe. Now, now Holy is it cow. almost? Because I I know somebody who might have broken some Nether netherite tools. Frame. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Looking for somewhere to put this uh, photo down. Ah, yeah. Put it right here for now. Oh, that's this, so pretty. Can this we hang it somewhere? All stream? Um. Yeah, this is pretty much where I've been all stream. And yes, you can bust that glass if you need to. I, I, I put it up. <laughs> I, 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 I just, put it up because nothing can get into me with the gate and the fence. But the um, skeletons can still shoot you. Yeah. Right. Uh, hang on the front of your barrel. Eventually, I'll make one that they want to hang, so. <laughs> I, I just wasn't it's expecting so the uh, the glass barrier. Have you been out to see it for real? <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely what? need to fly out there and take a look. Where is it? There. No, not there. There. It's in between the um, starter bait or the starter island and the guardian farm. 
Now you want to Hot dang, hun. Here. Wow. Yeah, that that is uh. That is epic, dude. Yes, he's done an amazing job on it. Yeah. Oh, no, we need to get... Can we name a wandering trader and keep him forever? No. Because we can make him be the thief. No, no you can't. You have to be able to move him around. Uh, not only that, but wandering traders uh, cannot be persistent, period. Full stop. You can name them, you can stick them in a boat, you can do all the things that you can do with any other mob to keep them in the game. What about a disarmed um, pillager? Okay, that... That would be another matter entirely. Matter like of fact, just moving him around though. Uh, well, that's what minecarts and boats are for. Yeah. Um. Have you seen this layout? It doesn't yeah. really lend itself to moving a boat around. You're you're on the ocean. How is that not conducive to you know? We'll we'll just put a little piston door in the bottom somewhere. It's a it's a two person game, right? Oh, at a minimum. Like... Oh, it's a many people game. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we can I think get it's like four to six. Server over here. I was going to say, if it's a two person game, then two of us can just sit down there and be told where to go. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not played Settlers of Catan? No. Oh. oh. That right there that inspired me to build it. Oh, we, we need to, we need to <laughs> fix this. We need to fix this quick. Is this where I think it is? Oh no! Okay. Did Did you notice that the uh, the wool trade doesn't have wool? It, it's got a, a sheep and a boat. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. No, I didn't notice that part. <laughs> oh, has anybody fed Captain Adorable? Um, no, no. Yeah. I have, I I have not been fed yet. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. And speaking of feeding, no, I'm going to go ahead and spray these. He's over here up. looking sad. Some Fruit Loop smell in the house. There we go. <laughs> what? It, what is? What is? What is Fruit Loop? I'm loops? scared. It's no, it's Scentsy sprays called Blue Raspberry Ice, oh. and it smells like Fruit Loops. I, I I thought you were trying to be uh, family friendly about when you have Taco Bell. No, no, <laughs> that just requires some new paint. I didn't intend to work on digging this out down here, but I think I've run into but the intersection. But you promised. Well, no, no, no. I, I think I've run into the intersection of two projects, and. Well, and to be fair, stream's supposed to be over in nine minutes. Yeah. Well, you over, know, like, it, it's. I a, think. Oh no! Actually, it was supposed to be over. Ago. It was twenty-one minutes 21 ago. Twenty-one minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, well, you know. My bad. Math is hard. But we're having fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it but does. But this seems as good a does. place as any there, to there, do the... Uh... There, there have been more than a few streams in the archive that went past the normal two hours. Because we were in the middle of something. Or we were just having fun. Or just because... Or because somebody didn't give good directions for leaving the end. <laughs> uh, you, you just go over there. No, 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 not there. There. No, there. What do you mean you're lost? It's it's easy. You just come over here by me. <laughs> but but where are you? I'm over here. <laughs> exactly. That one place. We love you, Arcadius. <laughs> Look, you're not always that much better, I might add. All right. 
Christmas, uh, you, you go to the thing that looks like a Y. Dude, that's how I give directions in real life, though. That's I not know. even in the game. I know. I, I, I don't know if, if I should have given you that Jenny Lawson book, because that seems to encourage it, too. <laughs> I know, because there's somebody else like me out there. Who also gives directions in memory. Right. Um, and story. But anyway, what I was trying to say is if we're all at a stopping point, that is probably a good place to call it. Yeah. And then we can feed the sad puppy who has been a whole 54 minutes past his dinner time and yeah, he, is he's, starving. He's curled up on the rug. He's not even looking at either one of us right now. Poor guy. No, poor forgotten Jabba. His life is hard. Life is hard. He's so abused. I, I gotta get the sad Jabba back on my uh, quick, quick hits. All right, so here's what we do. At the end of the stream, we hit the credits, and we say thank you for joining along. I hope you all had fun. Thank you again, Beast Lord, for the raid. And um, definitely come by. We do this every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I also do another show on Fridays at 6.30 U.S. Eastern called Games Revisited. And the live stream is basically me doing a live-to-tape recording of the next six episodes that will go up on YouTube. And so the, the Games Revisited episodes are up there, and the live stream archives from Coffee Craft are also up there. And uh, I started doing some standalone episodes and other stuff, and, and some more stuff's going to happen in the future in particular. Uh, I meant to bring this up during the stream, but, uh, well, you saw us, we got distracted this way and that. Uh, I'm learning instrument repair, refurbishment, and that kind of thing. And uh, Rob Crow, uh, Ben Crow over at Crimson Guitars is running another great guitar build-off. I plan on entering in that. And I hopefully will be posting in the relatively near future some videos of me working on practice guitars. So I, I do plan on expanding out the variety of uh, stuff on the YouTube channel. Do come by, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. And uh, thank you, have fun, and I will see you all next time.